Alright, this is Amanda's kitchen laptop. I have it mounted on the wall just using a standard TV bracket. And I did some some hack foolery to get it to stay here. And then I figured making a simple to use design uh, for opening programs and accessing different parts of the computer was the best idea. I got it from somebody on online who did it for for a touchscreen device. This one's obviously not touchscreen, but it's got that iPhone face interview interface, so it's pretty uh, it's pretty simple to use. So the first thing I've got is a recipe book. This one opens up a program called Chicken Ping, which is an open source um, database program. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on the programs, but it's actually a pretty cool program. It, it, you can substitute different foods, you can set up um, different meals, you can set up shopping lists, and um, you can find out what you have available in the house, and you can actually create a, um, a meal from that. Then I've got a cool little chicken. It's, it's called a, a kitchen timer. It's called Snap Timer. Um, it's got a lot of different options for alarms and, and resetting. You can run multiple multiple timers if you want to. So that was kind of handy to have of course. Music. I use a program called uh, Music Cube. It's fast. It organizes all your music. Um, it's clean. It, it's not like iTunes. It's, it's a lot it's a lot slimmer, a lot easier on the system. Uh, let's see. I've also got a little conversion program. Now I'm using Google Chrome to start up programs in, in application mode. So I stripped out the important parts of a particular website that lets you figure out like one cup uh, is equal to a half a pint, a quarter of a quart, one sixteenth of a gallon. Uh, it's equal to eight fluid ounces. It's just a handy little program. You can set up multiplication on it. So if you need four of those, then it all goes away, obviously. Let me see. Uh, the multiply doesn't work, so I'll have to fix that. But I figured that's better than a, a standard calculator. Then I've got this um, weather icon, which actually updates automatically in the background to show you kind of what a general look of the day is like. And if you click on it, it opens up a Google Web Apps for um, the Weather Channel. It gives you a 10-day forecast, which is kind of nice. And then got the just basically a picture frame mode so you can click on that and and run through pictures pretty easily. It's got a standard web browser um, for Google Chrome. It's got a grocery list. The grocery list is actually Google Tasks but I use the app function here so you can add you know things you need to get. The cool part about this is Amanda can get to it on her Blackberry so she just adds them here and she can act, she can get it all at the grocery store there's no need to write down lists anymore. Uh, her her Gmail's here, calendar's here. She has her news reader for different articles she likes to read. Um, let's see, Google Maps. These are all just links. A workout timer, so she can do her uh, interval training, which is pretty cool. A standard file explorer, Twitter, Pandora, uh, a Craigslist page in case she wants to look up different things pretty quickly. Um, and then all recipes. This is a program. She, this is a website she goes to for uh, tracking recipes. And this little guy down here, I have two automatic 10-second updating webcams. One in Venice and one in uh, Santa Monica. So we can kind of see at a glance what the what the situation is like outside, which is kind of neat. Anyway, it's, it's a very simple um, design interface, which I was inspired by somebody from, uh, from the internet. I probably should link to it in the, in the comments. Uh, that would be the nice thing to do. Anyway, that's, um, that's it.